the sous vide egg bites. You have three different kinds? Yeah, we have bacon, egg white bites, and the ham and cheddar. All right, let me have uh, one one of each. Okay. You pay for it? Yeah. You're the man, bro. Thank you. How much okay. is it? $24.45. God. <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> $24 for that? The egg bites cost $2 million, bro. <laughs> Can I double order all the egg bites? Oh my God, he's really doing. He's gonna pay for it, so. Thirty-eight seventy-four. My gas costs less than that. <laughs> Thirty something bucks for eggs and coffee. Here's what they look like. All right, right? It's so hot. <laughs> That's good, but it better be good for. The amount that it costs, huh? All right, go on, look. I did you the favor, I paid for these. Yeah. But we got to learn how to make these. Because I'm never paying for these again. <laughs> huh? I'm serious. I Keep think, laughing. I don't know how to make them. I never made them before, but I think we can give it a try. But the first thing we need is we need to buy the ingredients and we need eggs. My mom has that cover. We just go to my house. Can you buy me some more? No. <laughs> Why not? No, I can't. Because if I do, my bank account might yell at me. <laughs> Hey, hey. Hey! hey. Oh. <laughs> we got the wheel, bro. Okay. Let's go. These are the sous vide egg bites. They are nice, fluffy, and cheesy, and they taste awesome. And today I'm gonna learn how to make them so that my nephew Angel doesn't have to go bankrupt when buying me some of these. All right, everybody, so I know for a fact that it is 50% egg and then 50% something else, some type of fat, some type of cheese, something to combine it together, and then 0.5% is the salt. I know that's the formula. So I have some options here that we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna be using uh, queso crema. Obviously, we gotta give this one a try, processed cheese. And then I have also, this is a Brazilian cream cheese style. We're gonna try goat cheese. We're gonna try fresh mozzarella. We're also gonna try heavy cream, cottage cheese. And to finish it off, cream cheese as well. Can we acknowledge the fact that you're wearing the wrong shirt? Fixed. Now it's official. These are 12 fresh eggs which I got from my sister-in-law. I beat them well with a hand blender until they were all combined together. Once I was done, I found out the total weight. And the total came out to 769 grams. Since I'm doing 8 batches, I divided that by 8. And the total was a little bit over 96 grams. Using that number, I split the batter in 8 different containers. Now I don't know which cheese is best to use. So using a 50-50 mix, I added 96 grams of each individual cheese. Starting off with the queso crema, then the Brazilian cheese, followed by all the others. All right, everybody, we have all of our cheeses, our eggs, 100% ready to go. Now what we have to do is measure the salt. And the salt is gonna be 1%, well, actually half percent of the whole batch. So half percent is 96, as you guys know. So instead of point, putting 0 0.96, what I'm gonna do is just round it off to one gram. After adding one exact gram to each individual one, then I combined all the ingredients together into a hand blender container and mixed it well until I had a smooth batter. What I found interesting was actually the color of each one of them. The texture is different, check this out. So this is the mozzarella, and you can see the texture Look at this. Wow, it's it's quite interesting, everybody. And then we have the next one here, which is cream cheese. So watery. I wasn't expecting that one. The American cheese or processed, look at this. <laughs> look at the texture of this one. Wow, look at that. And then we got the goat cheese. Look at the, how smooth. It, it, it feels like a custard. We got the whipping cream here, which is very, very watery. Check this out, look at that. So watery. The cottage cheese is very yellow still, and the texture is pretty much the same as the egg texture when it was beaten. The Brazilian cream cheese here, this one here, huh, this one looks good. And we have Angel's uh, top pick right here, queso crema, but look at this. It's watery as well, Angel. 
This is the American cheese one, and to be honest, it looks like I can eat it already. It huh? really does, yeah. Look at that. Like, this one looks it very... It looks like a dip, almost. It looks like, exactly like a cheese dip. This one here also, the custardy. This one is looking very interesting. Anyway, guys, now all there's left to do is we're gonna put them in mason jars, and we're gonna cook them, all of them, at 185 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. And we're gonna do some nice toppings. For my toppings, I kept it pretty simple. I started off with some bacon and cooked it until it was nice and crispy. Then I threw in some sous vide cheese, a little bit of parsley, mix it well and this bacon topping is done. For my second topping, it's pretty straightforward. I got some cherry tomatoes, a little bit of fresh basil, sous vide cheese, olive oil, freshly ground black pepper, finish it off with flaky salt, mix it well and my topping is done. By the time I was done with these wonderful toppings, my sous vide egg bites were ready. All right, everybody, we have our wonderful egg bites here. I know you spent some money today on them. Thank you, I appreciate it. But if this works out... <laughs> Never again. Never, because that is like half of one of these. Yeah, probably. It looks like they do this and then they cut it in half. You're probably right, yeah. So we, well, since you tap me on this one, let's go for this one. This is the goat, the goat cheese. Ready I'm for it? I'm excited for this one. I don't, know, I don't know if I like goat cheese. I haven't <laughs> had that before. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Very eggy. Super creamy. Very, very creamy. Very creamy. And it has a little sour taste. It does. Yeah. It has a little sour taste. Has that. It's good though. It's it not has bad. that little... <laughs> at the end. Yeah. Let's go. Mozzarella, everybody. Let's give this one a try. Cheers, buddy. I actually like it. It's good. Tastes good. And the texture, completely different from the it goat. It's 100% different than the goat. It's more it's crumbly as you're eating it. I mean, you can see it. Yeah. Of. It's, it's, wow. I like this one. This one is nice. This one is kind of good. Yeah. Kind of like a souffle. Right, because it has that texture. Bit. Yeah, the other one is more like a custard. This one is kind of like a souffle. This one is winning for me. The goat is more like you can do it with your tongue, like just break it up with your tongue. Right, this one that has one is more. Like you kind of take it to the teeth a little bit. Yeah, it has a little bite. Let's put them in order right here then. Yeah, heavy whipping cream. Let's go for it. Uh, that one I feel like is probably gonna taste like very eggy. Oh, it smells so strong like egg. Yeah, it does smell. Ooh, it smells like pure egg. Cheese. Cheese, everybody. That's just like egg. Yeah. <laughs> pure I don't egg. even taste it. I don't I, taste the... I don't taste thing. anything. It's good, though. I mean, it's no, no, not it's, bad. It tastes amazing, but it just it's like very egg. creamy, though. It's, it's a nice... It's like a creamy egg. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Which one is this one? This is Brazil. Brazil. Aham. Uh -huh. Mmm, that's a good one. That one's good. Wow. Wow. I put this one. That, no, 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 I put no, it no. Together. No, 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 no. That one goes on top for me. They're all <laughs> better than these. <laughs> you don't like them that much <laughs> compared to that. <laughs> I think it's just because you spent the money. No, it's not even that because <laughs> I would be like, oh man, I spent so much money on them. They have to be good. But they're not that good. They're not the greatest thing in the world. I agree with you. These, these are a lot better. Taste like better. All right, let's go for the next one. Cream cheese, I like cream cheese. I love cream cheese. Let's go for it, bro. Cream cheese. Let's see what's up over here. Cream cheese, everybody. Cream cheese. Mm. I like that one a lot. I like that one too. Wow. That one is smooth. Very smooth, very creamy, and very similar to the Brazil one. Crema. Coming for me, bro. You're the crema, me. I can tell you right away, is super soft. Yeah, you don't even really like... You don't need, need teeth? <laughs> I don't right. think you're going to need teeth. It's going to be the best one, though, just saying that. Crema, let's go. That one's pretty good. That's good and it's soft. It's super, super soft. The texture is like almost nothing. 
Yeah. I wonder if we take it out of the cup, it will hold together because it's so soft. It probably won't. Let's see if it will hold together. Oh, it's so soft. It just comes completely. It won't. Nope. Nah, nope. No, but you also broke it though. Oh, you did. Oh, you how about together. that? How about that? <laughs> how about that? And look, wow. look, look how soft it is when it breaks. Look. It is. That one is good. And you called it. Mm. Bro, Zero you, resistance. I think you could even, if you wanted to, use it as a spread. As a spread, yeah. That's good. good idea. Very good. All right, cottage cheese. You ready? Oh man, I'm excited for the American one. I want to try that one. That one we're going to try last. It has a, look at the texture. Cottage was the one that was like perfect, no? Yeah, like it's so smooth. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That one's good. It like breaks. Yeah. When you put it in your mouth, it like, it's not like the mush. It's like a breaking. You get me? Yeah. I don't know how to explain that. Like. And the taste is good. I like the taste. The taste is good. All right, the moments, last one. Moments of truth. Oh, this one. We're, we're all excited about the American it's one. It's so dark and yeah. different. Ooh, it's, it's, it's firm. It's firm. Go for it. It's going to be different. Yeah. It's like pure cheese, man. This is the hardest one. Yeah. Very, very cheesy. Yeah. It but tastes, it's not my it favorite. Just like American cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't taste egg at all. Anyways. I don't taste any of the egg. It's like melted cheese. Hold on, Angel. Let's do a test here. Oh. Huh? How about that? I like this mixture. Very good. So this is our order, everybody. We have the goat cheese as last. Then we have the American cheese, cream cheese, mozzarella. We have the Brazilian cheese called requeijão. And then these three are pretty similar to each other, which is the Brazilian, the cream cheese, and the cottage cheese. But for us today, the queso crema is the winner. You agree, Angel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you were right from the beginning. All right, now, which one will be the most similar to the egg bite? What happened, bro? <laughs> mm -hmm. That one with the bacon? The closest one to the egg bite for me, I think will be probably one of these three here. Yeah. Right, you agree? I think the Brazil one tasted the most similar. Similar to that one? Yeah, yeah. probably right. Except for the egg white, obviously, because we didn't use. That. So if you want to be as close as possible to the egg bite from Starbucks, you either choose the Brazilian uh, cheese or the cream cheese or the cottage cheese. Yeah. Those will be the most similar. And in texture too, everything. Anyway guys, this is the result for the egg bite experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in any of the equipment I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care everybody. Bye-bye. We should have made more of this. The crema, right? <laughs> the crema is surprising. I didn't expect that one to win. And definitely the best one. Bacon. Bacon. I mean eggs and bacon, man. Come on.